I think it needs a little bit more work before busting out in a tournament setting, especially with like, you know, like big stakes on the line. And not for him, because he's already in Summit, but still. Yeah. All righty, here we go. Starting on Pokemon Stadium. I mean, we saw how crazy it got on this stage with Mr. R Light. So let's see how this goes down. Yeah, and I, um, Mr. R also plays uh, Snake, but I definitely think Fox body Snake, so I don't see Mr. R switching over to Snake. I, I definitely think we're going to see Fox Chrom this entire set. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uses a landing up air to try and interrupt that ether. Works out, but Mr. R is able to get that uh, continuation with those hitboxes. Okay, on the ledge trap here, and Mr. R still going, and the four tilt almost taking it. Another one? No. Ooh, but finally ZD gets the nair he needs, gets the grab, and he's still going. Oh, also gets the fair or four throw off stage. Ooh. Gonna DI on the stage though. Yeah, I think one of the biggest differences between Z. Oh wow, that dash attack gonna be it for ZD's first stock. But I think one of the big playstyle differences at ZD on those. Oh no, that's a bad scenario. Oh you're, no, you're done. You're you're so done. And right there, ZD with uh, unfortunate positioning of himself. And uh, I'll tell you what, Mr. R will definitely take huge advantage of that. Gonna take that stock pretty much at zero. Oh, he's oh, trying dang, to go for another dang. one there. Okay, he's going to get that up smash. Just waits it out because that could guaranteed kill. The dang. He definitely tried to kill him at zero, which he successfully did, and then he tried to kill him at 30. Yeah. I see you, Mr. R. I see you. <laughs> All righty, but already attacking him on the 57%. Oh, and just spacing around that dash attack. And we see all this down tilt spacing. Mr. R being very grounded with this Krom. And, oh, wait, wait a minute. ZD getting in, though, gets this up air. And like we said time and time again, when this up air connects, there's much damage to follow. Yep. I didn't get that last up air off the top. The fair is going to trade it out. The illusion comes in, but he air dodges through just fine. He tried to wait for a tech chase or something, but the force smash, that'll do it. And that's a two stock for Mr. R. Yeah, what? and I mean, very solid two stock. Of course, he did. <laughs> He did pretty much take one of his stocks at 0%. Um, so, but nonetheless, very, very solid play coming out from Mr. R. And definitely felt like, in terms of just like comparing it to his set against Light, I feel like Mr. R just had a little bit more control of the pacing. And in terms of just like, it, it felt a lot harder for Mr. R to like cut down Light's maneuverability. Yeah. I feel like in terms of like ZD's maneuverability, and, th and th if you can slow a Fox down, that's a very, very big deal because that's what Fox really thrives off of is his movement. Yeah. All right, going to Smashville. I mean, he's been taking, ZD's been taking a lot of good wins on this day, so that's maybe like a comfort pick or something. But regardless, yeah. uh, we'll see how this goes down. And uh, the one thing I wanted to point out before Mr. Inter Mr. R interrupted me with two very quick socks was that <laughs> ZD, especially when he gets tech chase situations, he waits a little bit more, doesn't go for the immediate reaction, waits for the defensive option afterwards to try and follow up something with a little bit more safer so he doesn't overcommit as hard. And it looks like it's, that doesn't matter right now. What he's getting is a lot of damage and pairing that ether, putting himself in a good position to try and get an edge guard. Ooh, there's the left drop double jump there. And again, ooh, trying to roll behind, get something started, the parry once again. and. We gotta be careful. We saw what Light was able to do to Mr. R with those parries. And there is the Nair. There is the up smash to follow and ZD striking back. All right, let's see what Mr. R does here at the ledge. Okay, just gonna jump right back around. Yeah, really great pressure. Wow, the Neutral Beak having quite a bit of range. Mr. R trying to get that early stock kill with the forward smash. Another parry and right now, Mr. R has to be very careful of how he's coming down with these aerials. Yep. All right, just uh, side beats back around. I mean, taking a page out of Light book, Light's book with all those parries, that's really what turned them around on the on the Light uh, Mr. R set specifically. So trying to see if he can do that too. And of course, ZD doing a really great job of also just, oh, almost getting the tech chase that could have been the stock. Oh man, and that shield is looking so low for Mr. R. Yeah. Okay, gets that illusion, gets another up air and seals it out again. Three stocks to one reverse of the first game. Yeah, exactly. And ZD is doing such a great job nailing all these hits, knowing exactly when Ramen wants to shield and when Mr. R wants to drop it. And of course, getting these parries as well. Yeah. Oh, the B reverse though puts him in a good position. Oh, wait a minute. The forward tilt sending ZD off stage, but can he nail the edge guard? Goes for the forward tilt, does not connect. Oh, but gets a turnaround forward tilt. That'll be able to do it as ZD tries to push himself back into a better position. That's a strong, consistent move to get these kills, and it is disjointed as well. Yeah. Those sword characters, man, and they're darn disjoints. <laughs> wow, ZD catching the jump with up tilt. Oh, wait a minute, the fair, but Mr. R not in a position where he can go for the crom side. He is not up that stock. And ZD reacting, but not finishing it off just quite yet. Oh, the parry puts himself in a big position. Oh, but he misses the back air if he just 
waited a little bit longer on that, he would have been able to land it. Not quite working out, but he's still got a two-stock lead. Oh, but there's an air. Oh, but the dash attack. And ZD with the up smash out of shield. Ramen kind of, I feel like in that in that dash attack, it was kind of just like, I need something to get started. At this point, I'm never going to make this comeback. So definitely respect the pick there. But ZD with the coverage and with the up smash, going to seal out yep. that game number two. Mm -hmm. Just on that smaller stage in general, too, I feel like Fox is able to burst himself more into that close boxing scenario that he's very comfortable with. Yeah. Because once you got a crumb that's like starting to space you out, use those disjoints to keep you away, that's what is very difficult for Fox to deal with. So that that's my actual pick working out. Let's see what this next stage is gonna be. Alright, again, sticking it out with the crumb and the fox here. We're gonna be Pokemon CM2. Gonna similar blast zones, but we're gonna have a little bit more room to work with and a different platform layout. Right. And game number three here. So we'll see uh, who gets that early lead because it feels like the set just generally whoever takes that really early lead um, really snowballs the entire game. Yeah. Oh, there's oh, the parry, parry once again. Mr. R looking for these falling up airs. I like it right there. Instead of going for the um the falling up air, he staggers the hitbox, lands, and comes down with the side beat. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. If you notice your opponent is parrying you, you okay, I'll do these empty hop mix-ups instead. You're gonna drop your shield, I'm gonna catch you with something like my dancing blade. Exactly. Down tilt, not gonna connect here. Mr. R is gonna connect it with the forward tilt on the ledge trap. Really, really good stuff here. Yep. Oh, trying to get trying to mix up those landings with those V reverses. Oh, no, really good cross-up. Yeah. All right, gets a downward Ooh. version, gets a lot of damage out of it. 22, and hey, hello, friend. We are back on the ledge. Nice to meet you. Here's this 40%, and here's Mr. R just really showing how strong his ledge trapping is. But ZD coming in with that up smash. Yep, try to do it. Look like another empty hop just goes in there, gets that up smash, closes it out. Yeah, and Z honestly, ZD is just really amazing at conditioning. You don't, you honestly don't see most of his like run up up smashes miss or like get shielded. For the most part, he nails a lot of them. He's so good at conditioning his opponent and knowing exactly when they're gonna drop that shield or go for a jump. Yeah. All right, that B reverse again doing a good job getting himself out of a lot of these rough situations. And now I guess that forward tilt putting him in a bad position one more time. Down tilt, no. Tries to get something else, and I like that he jumped away just to be able to avoid that drop down jump fair that ZD's been doing to try and make it back to stage every time. Okay, right now, Mr. R trying to get away from this juggle situation. Almost catches the fair. The jab. Oh, tech chase does not hit the tech chase. And right now, ZD. Oh, man, this is really scary. Fox's damage output is insane. You got to be careful. Yeah, both these two being very careful. They know the next hit could potentially be it for either of these two on the second stock. They're being very careful, just being on shield. Neither of them going for the grab either. Oh man, so much jumping around, so much dancing around shield. And wow, ZD gets the grab here in the air, tries to get this up air finisher, but the neutral B is gonna hit off stage here for Mr. R. Oh, forward tilt so close to connecting. The forward air, not quite enough here. What's the edge guard? The forward tilt, once again, tried to go for it, but ZD back on stage. All oh, the dash dances. Mr. R thought that maybe you'd go the other way and just be able to get that up smash. Oh, and there's the side B. I love the delay from Mr. R and ends up getting the shield poke. Really, really good stuff here. Oh, catches them in the air, but the landing there from CD. Ah, these two are just trading blow for blow on the air to air. Not enough hits on from either side in the early percents. And if I got you in the air, you definitely can't parry. And yeah. Mr. R definitely taking advantage of that all the way to the skies. Oh, he oh, tried dang. to turn it around, probably tried. get a read or something. He tried to do him dirty right there. Oh, the neutral B, got the stall here. Oh, try to go for the counter, but no overshoot from ZD. He's going to take a lot of damage from that. Oh, man, he's got to watch out. Oh, another up tilt connects, but ZD able, not, not able to convert it. Off stage here. Oh, and the directional air dodge not going to be able to do it. With Fox, you cannot directional air dodge horizontally when you're just horizontally with the ledge because... Spaces in general take a little while to snap that ledge after their intangibility runs out. So you got to do it. You got to overshoot it just a tad bit. Yeah, ZD just kind of rolled his eyes like, ah, oh, I can't believe I lost my stock like that. I literally talked to ZD about that when I took him to the airport. If you want more information on that, you can check out my YouTube video I made on it. Uh, backslash GSM Void on YouTube. Hey, let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> snuck in a little. I, do, I have a video stream, on it. The, I'm like, the, I'm the, serious. The stream runner I actually have a video gave on it. A, gave Korean, the most disapproving look I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I unfortunately have nothing to plug, but it looks like Mr. R wants to plug in the snake right now. Wow, okay, he's going for it. And I mean, wow, very interesting. He won that game. So 
Um, maybe he's going for the curveball pick. I don't think, I definitely don't think Snake versus Fox is impossible. We saw Salem actually beat ZD with Snake and winners, correct? Yeah. So it can be done. It's just generally setup characters don't want people to be next to him, and Fox loves to be next to his opponent, and he's got the speed to back it up. So he yeah. can definitely set up that situation. Maybe it's just the stage. It's like he knows ZD won on it last time, so he'll try something different since he's up a game, and he can always go back to his old prom if uh, he has the last counter pick, you know? Yeah, maybe low-key Ramen's like, well, if, if Salem Snake is able to do it, like, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see, though. Right. Oh, wow, the C4 actually catches ZD off guard. Oh, up air. Okay, catches the landing with dash attack. Fun fact. That oh, wow. I didn't even know that move exists because nobody uses it. <laughs> and Mr. R definitely showing the world that down smash can be used and Use it to take ZD's first stock. Yeah, I mean, if you told me that Snake's down smash was still the mine from Brawl, I would believe you because we'd never see it. <laughs> <laughs> that like, would be so, so good. But right now, yep, Mr. R setting up all these. And that's the one thing, too. Fox likes to platform pressure, but he has to do it a little different versus Snake. Oh, dang. He's <laughs> trying, to, trying <laughs> to explode on this man. Yeah, he's trying to get these really early kills. I mean, that does have a lot of kill power. Oh, but tries catching him jumping and gets that up smash out of shield. Still 54% on Fox. ZD is so good at landing these raw up smashes. I mean, you got to be, right? And Light is another um, Fox main that is also really good at that. And when you can get these call out with up smashes, that's when the character can really blossom and you can get all these really, really early kills. Yeah, all the explosion. Of course, Mr. R is going to love those trades as long as you get out of those juggle positions that Fox loved to be in. Wow, and I like the forward throw coming out from ZD as well. He procced the grenade and also used the uh, throw intangibility to make it so he didn't, um, you know, take damage from that grenade. <laughs> and oh. Mr. R, even with the character like Snake, still trying to let's trap with those aerials. Barely showing up of his play oh! style here. <laughs> oh my lord. Definitely thought he was dead, but wait a minute. Yep, that is, he missed again that directional air dodge to the ledge. Not gonna quite make it there. Yeah, I was like, all right, Z ZD missed it. On, uh, game, yeah, on yeah. the last game, so Mr. Everybody like, okay, gets uh, one. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but ZD looking mm. like, oh, wow, goes off stage even for that up air just to be able to tack on a little bit of extra damage. Wait it's a minute. Right now, ZD racking up so much percent, and this is why it can be hard for Snake, especially when you lose the lead. Um, Fox just has so many ways to get up next to you, and then Snake usually likes to recover high, and Fox is such a menace. Wow, and another call out with up smash. That was such far range, and... I need to see the croc. I need to see the sword come back out. Yeah, exactly. We'll see how it goes, though. I mean, if it, if it goes back to Pokemon Stadium, I feel like that might happen. But we'll see if ZD decides to ban it this time. It yeah, like I mean, ZD does have access to ban it. We do have seven stages with two bans, no DSR. So, I mean, just because there's no DSR doesn't mean you can't, you can't ban the stage you lost on. You can definitely still use your ban on that. So we'll see what stage we get here. I definitely know, OK, yeah. Yeah, going back. Didn't to know Krom. for sure, but like <laughs> had a very big hunch. We're gonna go back to the Crom here, game number five on Pokemon Stadium. Okay, sure. Ooh, gets the parry. Oh, dang! All right, all right. Ramen's let, letting the house know. You yeah. know, I, I got the parries too. Yeah. Okay. Kind of a weird tempo. I don't think uh, Mr. R is really expecting CD to be in the position that he was. So just kind of got a little bit of stutter in like the the brain processing there. Yeah, maybe the snake pick will be good in terms of just like switching it up, changing up the, the matchup on your opponent. So far, Mr. R with the lead here. Another side B will get ZD off stage and the down tilt connects. Another one. Oh, are we gonna are we rinsing and repeating out here? Oh, doesn't go for that last one. I mean, I thought he was gonna keep going for days, man. Oh, the side B, I like that he stopped. He knew he wasn't gonna connect. And the forward tilt will close it out. Mr. R only taking 13 damage. As soon as those down were coming out, I thought it was going to be over for ZD stock, and I was right. But he's putting him in a very bad position one more time. ZD getting a big combo to keep up the momentum, make sure it does not get slowed down, and gets another opening with that parry. And you know what's funny? It's a uh, Krom down tilting Fox Illusion like that is very similar to how Sheik would actually counter Illusion in Smash 4. So oh, yeah. you definitely know Mr. R has the timing for that, using that side B B reverse to also alter his landing, changing his momentum. Really good stuff. But can he rack up the damage? Back in neutral. All right. Uh, ZD decides to go in. Uh, ZD will often mix up between those very high committal approach options and the uh, low committal pr uh, approach options like back air instead. But that time went for Denair right on the shield. Didn't quite work out there. Oh, wait a minute. Wow. Up smash. Finally going to get shielded here. Mr. R kind of catching on to when ZD wants those up smashes. And that's going to be a really big deal coming into this game number five. All the 
Ooh, he commits yeah. into it, doesn't go for the tech chase, and Mr. R gonna get away once again with his life, but the jab on shield, unspaced here. ZD will punish it with the up smash out of yeah, shield. It looked like he was just waiting for that. It's like, okay, I'm in shield, you just need to hit me once, and then I will get this up smash. Oh, get, tries to get the roll reaction there. I like the up B, he was able to retreat back onto yeah, ledge. Yeah, it's like a dip, I'm out of here. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, wait a minute, but Fox getting the hit here, already 50 damage, and we're still going the tech chase from the forward throw. Up B, gonna go back on the ledge, gonna defuse some of the pressure, but ZD is still on the hunt. All right, Mr. R finally gonna get something back and just catches him. I mean, it's very hard to land that hit just because you have one frame of vulnerability only between exactly. get up into shield. Well, that's Ooh. just gonna work out for uh, Mr. R there. Yeah, and Mr. R nailing all of these ledge traps to side B, fully connecting here. Gonna get the down tilt, no. Oh man, but the nair pressure, Mr. R doing such a good job again and again. I wonder if he's doing those empty hops just to get the timing. It's like empty hop, down tilt, empty hop, down tilt. And he's going to be able to do that, but ZD just gets that up smash, able to close things back around. Yeah, but he is bleeding here, already at 99%. The down tilt not going to connect, but he strikes back with the forward air, trying to get these up airs going. If he's able to land an up air, the damage will be even. Like, that's how crazy this Fox damage output is. Oh, I think he poked the shield right there with that B reverse. If not, then ZD definitely was caught off guard. Oh, he just bounces back around. No tech chase situation for ZD to get those up airs. Again, another clip. One more time. Oh man, can he avoid it? Wait, but ZD getting this up tilt almost gets the chase right after. Another grab here. Tech chase situation. Wow, red that he was going to roll in. Oh, um, all of a sudden, this is a very dangerous spot to be in. Yeah, ZD's still hanging on, but he's got to be careful. The tech chase almost nails it. This is so close. Game five situation. Last stock, last hit. ZD not committing into the tech roll away option. All right, he just uh, throws out one laser. Very brave right there from ZD. Oh, the beer first. That does it? Did that wow. poke him or what happened? I don't know, but nonetheless, ZD, Loki kind of rolling his eyes right there. But <laughs> Mr. R going to take it with the, I love the platform movement. You know, he saw Mr. R on the platform. Mr. R ran to the left, but the beer verse to the right with that neutral B, able to steal out the stock. And it's a very safe option as well. That neutral B has very low end lag. So I love the safe play coming out from Mr. R. And again and again, I really just want to point out that beautiful ledge trapping, the down tilt on the illusion. You know, a lot of the times you didn't get the kill for it, but that damage really adds up. Yeah. Oh, man. Alrighty, so. Oh man, okay, man, these sets are so crazy, dude. All right, so the the one guy that was in Summit, he's out. So now we have a guaranteed someone will win and also get that spot in Summit. Yeah. So I mean, in winners finals we have Light and Salem, and then in loser semis we have the rematch that happened um, to make it into top eight is Mr. R. E. Sam. So. It's quite a top four that you have right there. Yeah, exactly. And honestly, a lot of people would not have expected it. We've had quite the turn of events. And honestly, right now, Salem and Light in winners' finals. We'll see if Salem is going to be able to prevail. Like I said, man, if uh, Salem wins this tournament, that Twitter is going to be popping off. Yeah, that's I, like, that's going to be I don't know for sure, but I, I think it's safe to assume. That's going to be an awkward weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, well, we'll, have, we'll have to see Light, the last person standing in his way to make it into the Grand Finals to potentially win it all. But we'll have to see. Uh, we saw before that uh, uh, Salem was able to take it over ZD with, yeah. the, with, the, with the Snake, but Light's a different creature altogether. Yeah. So we'll see if that pressure from Light and the, the burst options that he does is enough to juggle Snake into oblivion. Yeah. We'll have to see. I definitely, in terms of just what I've seen so far in Ultimate, I definitely think Fox is has a slight advantage over Snake. Um, definitely just, like I said, a character. In terms of archetype, you know, 